Hi, it's me again with Crow Roll Tips and Tricks. Just earlier today, I made a video on this, and I thought this would be a good one to flip and have an interlocking between these two. And normally, I use the um, intersect tool, but on this particular case, you really can't do it because you've got so many when you're doing the shading. So what we're going to do, we're going to... Uh, I like drawing stuff in the center of the page, but in this case, we're not going to really care. We're going to flip it over. So I'm going to draw it like that. I'm going to go ahead and hit P. I'm going to do it like that because that's the way I like doing it. And then we're going to go back to Champer and just Champer it two inches and see how that kind of looks funny. But as soon as you click off of it, it's actually done. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker this time. Let's go 2.5. There we go. See how it looks funny right there? But as soon as you click off, it's done it. And they're all equal, so we can take a two-point line. Now, you just need to be real careful you get on the node to node. Make sure it says node to node. And then this last one, node to node, because we're going to do a lot of cutting, and we need that. So this one, again, I'm going to do solid across the top. And we'll have it go here. Now, I'm going to control G to group this. I'm going to control D to duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate it the other way. But I don't want it like that. I want, like, I'm going to put my nudge factor on, like, 0 0.02. And I'm going to take this one. I'm going to nudge it up. Nudging, to me, would be a lot easier. So I'm looking at, I want that part above the other one. And then I'm looking at these triangles right here, right here, and right there to make them kind of equal. And we're almost there. And we're there, so or close. So now what we can do is take our uh, virtual segment delete key. In this piece, I'm going to swipe through here. But on this piece, I'm going to swipe it this way. And this would be a good reason to use the Alt key. So this one is going over or over that one. So we want it to go under this one. So I'm going to get hold down the Alt key, and I'm going to slice through there. Now, the other ones I don't really think matter, but since it's on the outside there, we're going to go ahead and, and see this is going across, so I'm going to hold down the Alt key and slice through that one. This one's going to be just the opposite. It doesn't really matter. And then since this one's going over, this one needs to go under, so I'm going to slice it this way, and I think that's it. Now, probably the smartest thing you can do is Control-G to group it. I'm going to go in and hit P because now it will center, but I'm going to, I have it grouped together because that way I can move or get rid of my lines. And I'm going to take the smart fill tool and I'm going to use the same color and I'm just going to fill in all the parts. And I can kind of see, so on this one right here, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to get the interactive fill tool and I'm going to swipe across. I'm going to go pretty far past because I don't want it to be too dark. That's still too dark, but I can slide my handle to there. Now, a lot of times you could copy that effect, but we're all going so many different directions. So this one we're going to pick and we're going to go interactive fill tool. I'm going to go quite a bit past and make it black. That's almost perfect. We don't want too much. So on this one, this one's going to have two. It needs to go underneath there and underneath there. So we're going to pick it. This is what we did in the first video. It's picked, so it's going to work. I don't have to be exactly right on it. But I'm going to take black and put them on both ends. Whoop, I missed it. You've got to be in that box. Then we can bring in that turquoise or whatever color that is and put it like right there and right there. There's a little bit more of a line between there, but it's really okay. So this one is just going, it's on top, but it's going underneath. So we're going to go pretty far past and we're going to put black there. I'm just going to leave it like that. You can pick it with the interactive fill tool and just go like this and actually move your handles out. Now this one, we need two blacks because it's going underneath there and underneath the other one. And then we're going to bring in that turquoise again. And there is a way you could kind of smooth that out so it wouldn't be so pronounced. 
but I think it's going to be okay. Just kind of move those up. So this one, same way, just go up here. So I'm making it look like it's actually going underneath, you know, the pieces of, if it's folded paper. This one is going underneath there. So I can just take a black, put it there. Whoop. I get so, I when I'm doing this on my own, I don't make mistakes like this, but I'm trying to kind of hurry up the video. So I'm, I'm looking ahead. This one only has one, it's going dark. So I want to pick it and then put dark at top and then slide our bar, and you can always slide your black out of the way. And then we only have two more, or three more. This one is a double, it's underneath. Well, you know what, I kind of messed that up, didn't I? Uh, Cause anyway, that one, should, one of them should be going underneath. But since we're here, we'll just do it. And let's click it with the interactive fill tool. Let's go, whoop. And then let's put black on both ends. This one, we might be able to copy the property down, copy the properties from a little bit. I'm gonna span that out a little bit. Then I can put my turquoise right at the edge. Maybe not quite that much. Maybe bring it out a little bit. You see, that's where I made the mistake, but it's, it's okay. Then I'll put black up here. Wow. And then one more. So if I hadn't have made that one mistake, this thing would be perfect. And then select it all and take away your outline. You know, it'll look like that. So this is the way it's supposed to look. This is not the way it's supposed to look. So I just cut the wrong lines on the wrong side. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.